Mac fans, welcome back. Today we are going to look at opening an ArcGIS online developer account. Developer accounts are pretty cool because they let you play with the software and you can do so for free. But there are, of course, caveats as to what you can do with it. So let's have a look at how we can sign up for this. Use an internet search engine and have a look for ArcGIS or ArcGIS online. And if you click one of the top results, it will bring you to either this page, which is the ArcGIS Online specific page, or you might come through to this page as well. Esri has a couple of different portals as to how you can get in there. But both of these function the same way. This one has a sign in and this one has a sign up now. So if you hit sign up now or sign in, it will bring you to this page. And here you can see down at the bottom, we can create an account and that is what I'm going to do now. I will accept the cookies. And then you can see we have a free trial. So you could start a free trial account and that will give you 21 days of ArcGIS online. You could create a public account, which means that you have limited functionality but you can have permanent access to create and share basic maps. You can purchase ArcGIS online, or you can use a developer account. Now there are some caveats with the developer account, and that's what we're gonna go for today. Please do read up on these because there are certain caveats that you need to be aware of. But if we just click here and go for a developer account, that will bring us through to this page. And I'm going to fill in these details. In the meantime, you can fill in your details. Once you've filled in your details, you will be presented with an email very similar to this one. And it will ask you to click on the link in order to complete your setup. So if I do that now, we will be taken to this page. And we need to come up with a username. We need to come up with passwords security questions, etc., and then we can create our account. So I'm just gonna fill in my username, which will be birdgis demo two. Once you've hit create account, you'll next be asked what you want the ArcGIS online URL to look like. And that for me is pretty fine, birdgis demo two. I'll go with that. Okay. You can change that if you wish, but I'm fine with that. And once you've done that, you'll be brought into this dashboard. Now there's a lot going on with this dashboard. Don't worry too much about that at the moment. Uh, this is kind of the overview of all the things you can do with an ArcGIS developer account. Now we're just going to simply go to ArcGIS online and go to manage content. And if we look here, we will be asked to sign in. I'll do that now. And that takes us to our content. Now, if you've used ArcGIS online before, or you've had a look at somebody else's account, this is very much what you'll be used to seeing rather than that complicated dashboard. So quite a lot easier to uh, deal with. And we can make a map very easily. If I just go up to map. Here's a map of the world. I'm going to zoom into the UK and to Leeds. And then I might change the base map. And let's go for imagery hybrid. There we are. And I'm just going to save this map now to my content. So I'll go save as and put my first map. You can add tags. That is fine and then a description as well, if you wish. And it'll ask you which folder you'd like to save it in. Oh, at least one tag. Okay, let's give it the tag of bird GIS. There we go, and we've saved that to my content. Now I can go back to content. 
and you can see my first map is right there. So that's just a brief introduction as to how you can use ArcGIS Online using a developer account. In future tutorials, we'll be going through much more in depth how we can leverage this software and do more exciting stuff. But until then, happy mapping.